Hey guys, welcome to this edition of uh, Adventures of Malibu and Dad. Guys, as you can see in the background, we're in West Virginia. And uh, this is kind of a, a personal journey here. Taking you guys along on a memory lane with me, guys. I'm going to Charleston, West Virginia. It's kind of where my family started. Uh, my grandfather, my dad. And uh, come along with us, guys, as we go through this emotional uh, memory lane and uh, just do it together. Welcome to West Virginia with us. Come on, guys, let's have some fun. We're glad to share the places and the people that we'll meet. Think of the memories we'll have. Exploring hidden history, it's time to hop aboard. On the road with Malibu and Dad. On the road with Malibu and Dad. All right, guys, so we made it to the uh, Capitol Center here in Charleston, West Virginia. And look at this beautiful memorial for the veterans. That is really nice. So we have the sailor here for World War II. And then they have the army guy with the M60 machine gun here for Vietnam. Man, that is uh, pretty incredible. Beautiful feature here. And as you walk around, Capitol buildings behind those trees, so you can see the big gold dome. This is for World War One here. Very nicely done. Amazing. One of the Capitol buildings. Give you an overview of the uh, landscape here. And you got the mountain right there. And then look at this, guys. Korean War amazing and here's the sailor made a full circle this is a World War two. What a nice memorial. Let's go inside. Metal Bee's checking it out. My wife, my granddaughter. And then look at all the names for every conflict. Wow, so many. World War II though, look at that guys. There's like eight panels that cover World War II, so I think we've definitely lost the most in World War II. Just amazing. A lot of respect. Let's only some more. So they'll have a coal miners memorial. And this is a uh, dedication of the West Virginia coal miner. In honor and recognition of all the men and women who have devoted the career, some a lifetime towards providing the state, nation, and world with low cost, reliable household and industrial energy. 
Let it be said, coal is the fuel that helped build the greatest country on earth, has protected and preserved our freedom, and enhanced our quality of life. God bless West Virginia coal miners. Dedicated this fourth day of December 2002. Very nice tribute. It's true, guys. Coal has built the world for sure. It was the capital. And I say the gold on top of that capital building is actually truly gold. So, uh, probably gold leaf somehow, or a little thicker. It's absolutely beautiful. Never been here before, and uh, there's a reason why we're here. I mean, other than picking up my granddaughter. But uh, I'll show you what we really came here to do. All right, guys, so this is a big reason uh, right here why well, I'm here today. Plus, picking up my granddaughter, it's the uh, West Virginia Fallen Firefighters Memorial. And uh, what really hits home for me is my grandfather's on this wall. In 1949, the Woolworth Company department store went up in flames. And uh, my grandfather, along with six other firefighters, were killed in the basement of that fire when the floor collapsed. And he's honored here at this memorial. And I'm uh, having an emotional moment. Uh, I'm sad that it happened to him, but so proud that he was such a hero. And he died protecting his city of Charleston, West Virginia. Right along the wall here, guys. All the fallen firefighters. And right here, guys. Frank N. Miller, 1949. That's my grandfather. Along with the other firefighters from the 49. There have been firefighters killed since 1901. Look at that. John Wright was one of the first. So uh, there's a lot of heroes there on that wall. I'm grateful to uh, Frank Miller, my grandfather, and all the other heroes on this wall who are honored here at the Capitol, West Virginia. This beautiful statue, firefighter with a Rescued baby. Really cool. So many on that plaque. God bless them all. And here guys is the police memorial all the fallen officers honored and killed in the line of duty there's so many names wow it's called the fallen partner statue it's a police officer holding up a shield and it has his partner's gun belt they retrieve after they're killed in the line of duty and his badge, as you can see that in his hand. Very moving statue. Wow. God bless all those heroes too. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit moving uh, to see a spot you heard about for all these years where my grandfather's memorial is. Uh, he, along with six of his brothers, uh, perished at the Woolworth Fire. It was a drugstore here in Charleston, West Virginia in 1949. And uh, they went down to the basement to uh, help alleviate and stop the fire. And the flooring above them collapsed on them all and killed them. Uh, I'm hoping it was instantaneous and not 
a suffering death. Such a horrible way to go, but uh, he was a hero. And I'm very proud of my grandfather for what he's done for the city of Charleston, West Virginia. And uh, along with all the other heroes that are on that plaque, uh, it's a thankless job, man. Um, police work, fire work. It's a, it's a tough, tough uh, career to be in because you never know if you're going to come home, guys. And, uh, you know, he answered the call. He was a brave man. So uh, great to be here. Uh, first time I've been here to get to see that and a uh, big part of why we're here. So uh, really neat. If you actually go on YouTube, there's a there's a, uh, a video of the 1949 Woolworth fire in Charleston, West Virginia. You can see his fire truck um, and the crew. How they got that footage, I don't know. It's amazing though, but it's all documented and uh, I'm glad it's there, man. It's uh, just a piece of my family history that I wanted to share with you guys and I'll let you see it for the first time too. Uh, you guys are like family to me. So uh, it's very important to me that I share this with you on my channel. So uh, let's see what else we can find and uh, thank you for being along with me. So guys, here we are, the Woolworth Building, 205 Capitol Street. And the name is still in the building. How amazing is that? The building is still here. And the name is still on it. To think just below the spot here, I lost my grandfather. It's amazing. Here's a memorial to them. In memory, this tablet erected by the Sisters of Charleston in memory of those valiant firemen who gave their all in the disastrous World Woolworth Fire of March 4th, 1949. In sorrow and respect, the names so inscribed are honored for their heroic deeds. And to those of the Charleston Fire Department who survived and who continue to guard with vigilance and valor the lives and property of the community. It's just amazing, guys. There's another angle here, guys. Just amazing. In the video that you see on YouTube, you can actually see this is a small street in front of Woolworth Building. And uh, all just almost looks the same again today. Hey guys, we are here with Morgan. Hi. Morgan is. Uh, one of the, uh, are you the manager here? I'm one of the co-owners. Co-owners of the Rock City. Yeah. Here in Charleston, West Virginia. I was telling the story about my grandfather and she was very moved by it and she uh, wanted to subscribe. So she's meeting Malibu. We are new subscribers. I subscribe for Malibu. Of so, uh, Malibu isn't that cute guys? Ah. I'm really happy that she did. She's a really cool person. So, uh, you know, everywhere we go guys, we love meeting new subscribers. So yeah. Morgan, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for stopping in. I love yeah. this. I can't wait to follow. Yeah, and you're going to be on the video. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Right. <laughs> so guys, we just uh, came out of the old Woolworth, Woolworth building. Uh, and it's Rock City Pastries now? Rock, Rock City. City Cakes. Rock City Cakes here in Charleston, West Virginia. Guys, if you're ever in Charleston, West Virginia, check them out. What a cool venue. They do all kinds of cool... Uh, my mom's got a sticker. <laughs> they got all kinds of cool... Um, Cakes, pastries. pastries, and it's just a really neat venue. They even do little concerts. And thank you to Morgan. Morgan, you made my day. Morgan's one of the co-owners here, and uh, she's absolutely fantastic. I uh, loved you, Morgan. You were so cool. You and me could hang out. Uh, and uh, thanks for uh, keeping Grandpa safe here at the site uh, and honoring them. She says that they come every year and they honor the, the firefighters here, so it makes me happy. So uh, thank you, Morgan. And uh, let's see what else we can get into, guys. So, guys, uh, I was driving around looking for my grandma's old house. Turn the corner and look what we came to. Charleston Fire Department Station Number 2. Met the lieutenant here. This is not the actual station my grandfather was at, but it is the actual fire department service that uh, he worked for. He told me that uh, part of their training 
because they learned about that Woolworth fire and they honor the uh, firefighters who lost their lives there. So I uh, just want to get a picture here. Beautiful people, beautiful truck. Thank you, uh, Charleston Fire Department Station Number Two and Lieutenant. You gave me also a patch, uh, which I'm going to dearly admire. And uh, just great guys, man. Really cool. All right, guys. So we're at the Spring Hill Cemetery in Charleston. West Virginia and we've been looking for probably an hour and a half the funeral director sent me in the wrong direction and uh, we just started doing our own and here he is it's my grandfather father Frank Norton Miller he was born May 9th 1917 died March 4th 1949 he was loyal until death Unflinching in calamity, died performing his duty with his crewmen at the tragic Woolworth Fire, Charleston, West Virginia, March 4th, 1949. Well, I've put an ending to this. I found my grandfather. And uh, what a beautiful stone. Uh, my uncle, Frank Miller, had the stone redone. Uh, not too long ago and built this beautiful one here and it's just absolutely gorgeous I think he did a great job and uh, very proud and happy to have found this guys and share it with you all right guys well, listen we had quite the day uh, we traveled to pick up our granddaughter we saw where my grandfather's buried and uh, my family plot in Charleston West Virginia and uh, we're headed back now to Lynchburg but thanks for coming along guys it was kind of a, a sweet memories uh, and a great time and we'd love to have our granddaughter back with us and glad you guys were there with us because uh, it's important to us that you're part of our family and uh, you're along with us for the adventures no matter where we go and Malibu's really happy she got to eat <laughs> she got to eat so guys uh, get out there and adventure like I always say if you can't get out there and adventure, jump on our channel, guys. We'll take you there. We'll find it. All right? So listen, I love you guys. For me, Malibu Mom, and Audrey Grace, our granddaughter. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. I love you.